Okay guys, so when it comes to your hosting provider, you want it to be super fast. Yes, come on, come on. And also you want to make sure that they only use the best and latest technology. But you don't want it to be, oof, this is hot this. You don't want it to be too expensive either. And also I'd like a hosting provider that looks after all the technical stuff for me, something that's fully managed so I don't have to worry about it. So tell me, do you think something like this actually exists? Something that's cost effective, managed and also super fast. Well, you know what? Let's find out. Very good. So InMotion Hosting just launched a brand new all-in-one WordPress platform called Platform I, which is a fully managed WordPress hosting plan. And they start at just $9 per month. And if you prefer to lock in the price on a yearly basis, you will then save two months. So in this case, you're looking at just $90 for the whole year. So what do you get for that price? Well, you get a high performance VPS. So that's important. It's a VPS, it's not a shared server with 100% dedicated resources. And again, we're talking managed hosting here. So that means that you have experts behind the scene making sure that your server is fully optimized and blazing fast. So obviously these servers are expertly tuned as well for WordPress, which guarantees optimal performances. Now, obviously, the faster your server is, the faster your website will load, and this will lead to more conversions and more money in your pocket. So now let me show you how Platform I is a new way to WordPress. Well, first, like we said, you get a high performance VPS, but check this out. You get a fully isolated server. So this is what a VPS is basically offering 40 times faster WordPress hosting speeds with gracious computing power. So did you see that 40 times faster? So this is very impressive. Now you get root access as well, server caching profile and optimization tools. And as well as you can see, when you get high performance, you get improved core web vital scores with NVMe, which is basically a solid state hard drive, which is one of the fastest technology right now on the market. And you also get Redis and Ultra Stack. And obviously you also get managed hosting support for WordPress. So that means they will assist you in whatever way you need to migrate even your website and things like that. So if you scroll down, as you can see, they also provide a playground environment. And with this feature, you can create instant non-production environments that can be used for testing and tinkering. As you can see, you can build new sites or safely work on a copy of your site. And then you can read some real case studies. As you can see, this company here, Amacor, managed to get 153% increase in WordPress performances. This is an e-commerce website, so this is even more important for your conversion rate. Excellent, so now let me show you everything from the back end, their dashboard, how to install WordPress, and also let's test some of the performances. Very good, so welcome to your Platform I dashboard, and by default, you will be redirected to your project section. As you can see, we already have one here that we created, Mr. Web plus Platform I. And if you wanted to add a new project, all you have to do is click on this big blue button here, new project, and then you select your team and then you can create a project. There you go, as you can see now this is created already, so it's almost instant, very, very fast indeed. If you go back to your project now, see this is the new one we just created, and this is the existing one we have already in place. And these are both WordPress projects, as you can see of the WordPress logo. Here we have a preview because we already installed the theme and everything. This one doesn't have it yet. So let me show you how this works. So let's click on this one here, my new project, click on it. Very good, and as you can see, there is no active playground at the moment. So what we can do now is to install WordPress and start afresh. So let's click on this button here, new playground. Very good, as you can see, our playground has been installed. So this is not a live site yet. It's something we can work on and then you can push to live later on if you want it to, or keep it as a playground if you want this as a staging site and then push to live later on. So as you can see, I have three different buttons here. So this one is to access your WordPress dashboard. This one is to manage the environment. And this one is to delete the playground if you wanted to get rid of it all together. So to access the website itself, let's click on this. It will open up in a new tab. And there you go, this is what it looks like. So we'll have a pop-up window because as you can see, this is a playground environment. So you can close this for now. And this is basically the default WordPress theme, the 2024. And now we can make all the changes we want to this website. Now to access the backend is very easy. All you have to do is click on this one here. So this is for the admin panel. Click on this and you will access your WordPress dashboard. There you go. As you can see, it's super fast, super smooth as well. So again, as we said, this is the default theme that comes with WordPress. So this is a 2024. So what I'm going to do, guys, is to install a full demo here and then we'll be able to test the performances. So let's go ahead with this. Excellent. So this is installed now. So let me show you the one I went with. 
I went with Neither, which is a well-known and very popular theme. And just for the sake of our test here, let me show you what it looks like in the front end. I installed a full e-commerce website, which normally should take longer to load because you have lots of products. It's a dynamic website as well. So as you can see, that looks very professional. But again, like I said, this is an e-commerce website. So let's put this to the test. Now, before we can test all the performances, obviously, this is a temporary URL that we have at the moment. So let's go back here. As you can see, this is the address at the moment. Like I said, this is a temporary one. So we can push to live and test this properly. So for this, we need to link this to a domain name. So here we have two different options. If you have an existing domain name, you can point your DNS to that domain name itself, or you can register a new one. So here, just for ease of use, I'm just going to register a new domain name. So let's click on this new registration and let's look for something, maybe team Mr. Web. Okay. And then check availability and see what's available. Okay, so that seems to be available. TeamMrWeb.com, you have .net, .org, .biz as well, different extensions. Now, I'll be honest with you, those prices are not the cheapest, but this is the most convenient way anyways. Once you have your project installed, you can link it directly here from within Platform I, which is so much more convenient. You might save a few dollars getting it somewhere else, but I don't see the point here. So I'll just go ahead with this. Okay, so let's purchase this one together. We go to our checkout and then all we have to do is to enter our billing address and details and then fill out our credit card details and then submit order. Excellent. As you can see, purchase is complete. So all we have to do now is just to continue. So click on this. Excellent. And as you can see, our domain name is now registered, Team Mr. Web, and it's part of David's team. And now we can link this to our project. And for this, we go to our project select our project which is this one here so right here as you can see we have an ultra stack four gigabytes so this is our vps environment and to manage your settings just simply click on this one here okay so manage settings so this is your quick overview so this is your vps environment so this is where the server is located us west tier 3 this is your host name ip address and as you can see the server is running so if you had any health issues with your website whatsoever, as you can see, you can fix it very easy by clicking on this button here. So it's well thought out, you know. Now, because this is a VPS, you have access to special features as well, like restarting your server, stopping your server, or adding an SSH key for security purposes. You can also take a snapshot. And this is basically the quick overview of your server. As you can see, everything is up to date. Now let's link our domain name to our website. So we go to site URL and right here we need to select our domain. So click on the drop down menu and select teammrweb.com and then continue. Now you can also link this to a subdomain. So it could be accounts.teammrweb.com or maybe staging.teammrweb.com, whichever way you want, or CRM system.teammrweb.com, support, etc. etc. So if you have different applications, you want to run them separately, you can create subdomains as well. But for now, we're going to continue just with our main domain without subdomain. Okay, so continue without subdomain and then apply the site URL. Okay, as you can see, update is in progress. Excellent. So this is done now. So this took about a minute, I'd say, roughly, you know. So now our new site URL is teammrweb.com. So you may have noticed it says HTTP. So this is not secured yet. So what we need to do next is to install our SSL certificate. And for this, all we have to do is to enable it. Okay, so we'll use the toggle switch here. Very good. So the SSL certificate has been installed now. So now we can click on this link. So don't worry, it still says HTTP here, but it's HTTPS anyways, you know. And to prove it, let's click on this. And let me show you now, as you can see by the side, our certificate is indeed enabled and our connection is secured. As you can see, this is absolutely fine and the certificate is valid. So this is enabled. And as you can see, this is quite fast loading as well. So now let's put this to the test and let's go and test the speed and performances using Google PageSpeed Score. But first, let's go back to our platform I dashboard. We go to manage. And as you can see, there's a section here called optimize. And right here, we have the server cache. So here you can enable a few of them. So as you can see, you have WordPress, WordPress multi-site, WordPress micro cache, pass all or honor headers. So this is really up to you, you know. In our case, I suppose the best would probably be WordPress. Okay, so I'll switch to WordPress. Okay, guys, so this is done now. So now we can open our website again. So let's click on this link. It will open up in a new tab. And as you can see, it opens up instantly. It's very, very fast indeed. Now we're going to test this ourselves now and see what the page speed score is. And for this, I installed a small extension on my Google Chrome web browser here. So all I have to do is right click on the page, inspect. And right here, if I go to the extensions, I have light 
Elite Hall. So this is basically it, okay? So as you can see, I can test the performances on mobile phones and desktop as well. So let's start with the desktop version. So analyze page load. Very good, and as you can see, we get a performance score of 99, which is basically the closest to perfection. Uh, perfection would be 100, so 99 for an e-commerce website, you have to agree with me, this is absolutely fantastic. Now we can run the test as well in mobile mode, so let's do that together. So we go here, new report, we select mobile this time, and then analyze page load. And there you have it guys, you can see we get a score of 81. So here the problem is not so much the accessibility, as you can see this is 99, so the hosting is very fast. The problem here is based on SEO, as you can see this is the SEO that's impeding the results. So if you were to improve the SEO on this page, obviously you will get a higher score. So when it comes to accessibility, so that's basically your hosting, as you can see we get a score of 99. Very good, so I'd like to mention as well that they have over 200 plus tech experts with over 200 and 80 hours of training each to give you the best 24 7 365 customer support now if you'd like to achieve similar performances for your wordpress website with state-of-the-art managed hosting then simply click on the link in the description below and get started for just nine dollar per month and by the way it's completely risk-free because they provide an ironclad money-back guarantee okay like always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one